Hi guys, it's Bulkwester again. So today I have this great book that I'm gonna read you today. Rescue Oxford Reading Tree series created by Roger Cunt and Alex Bridget. Let's get right on to it. Wilf had a bubble kit. He and Biff were blowing bubbles. Wow, these bubbles are these bubbles are huge, said Biff. Suddenly, the magic key began to glow. The key is glowing, said Wolf. Where will the magic take us this time? The magic took them to a flat, rocky place. There were no trees, and all around them were high mountains. There's nothing here, said Wolf. Why has the magic key brought us here? I don't know," said Biff. Suddenly, they heard the sound of an aeroplane. They lo- both looked up. Wolf pointed. "There's a plane," he called. "I think it's trying to land." "It's an odd place to land a plane," said Biff. "I hope I can make it." The aeroplane flew round in a circle. It came in very low. Then it touched down. The plane bounced on the rough ground. It bumped on the rocks and stones. Wolf held his breath. I think it's going to crash, he said. Then one of the wheel wheels hit a boulder. There was a crunch as the wheel was torn off. The plane spun round and stopped. One of the wings had been ripped away. Biff and Wolf ran to the plane. I hope the pilot isn't hurt," gasped Biff. The pilot climbed out of the wrecked plane. She looked at the torn off, torn off wheel and broken wing. Wing. Biff and Wolf raced up. The pilot took off her goggles and looked at them. "I've had better landings," she said. "I know you," said Biff. It was Princess Aisha. Biff and Wolf had met her before in another adventure. Goodness," said Aisha. "It's you again." "Why have you crashed?" asked Biff. "I didn't mean to," said Aisha. "My sister Lisa, Lisa, has been kidnapped. I've come to rescue her." "Will you help me?" asked Aisha. There's no time to waste. We have to find my sister and get her away safely. But how will we do that? You don't have a plane now. I'll think. Of, I'll think of something," said Aisha. They set off. They came to a steep rock face. Aisha climbed up. Next, she helped Biff. Then she let down the rope to Wolf. Now it's your turn, Wolf. Tie the rope on. But take it slowly. This is scary," said Wolf as he climbed up. At last, they came to a fort high up on a hill on a cliff. It had thick walls and heavy doors. That's where Lisa is," said Aisha. "But how will you get her out of there?" asked Biff. I'll think of something," said Aisha. "But keep out of sight." Aisha put her hands together. She blew into them to make a noise like a bird. Cuckoo! Then they saw someone wave from a window. "There she is!" cried Aisha. "She's heard me." "But we can't climb up there," said Wolf. "No, she'll have to climb down," said Aisha. Aisha told Biff and Wolf to keep a lookout. She tried to throw rope up to Lisa. At first, she couldn't throw it high enough. She tried again and again. At last, Lisa managed to grab the rope. Biff and Wolf were keeping a lookout. They heard shouting. "Someone's coming!" hissed Biff. "What shall we do?" "Try and stop them," said Aisha. "But how?" asked Biff. "You'll think of something." Said Aisha.
Wolf did think of something. He had an idea. He remembered the bubble kit and began to blow bubbles. The bubbles drifted towards the man. They had never seen such huge bubbles before. They chased after them and tried to pop them. Lista dropped to the ground. Well done, said Aisha. Wolf blew one more string of bubbles. Now run, he hissed. The others ran quickly. See, I knew you'd think of something, said Aisha. At first, they thought they had got away. Then Wolf looked back. The men were chasing them. They saw a lorry. They saw a lorry. I'll try and start it, said Aisha. You stop the men. How do we do that? Yelled Biff. You'll think of something, said Aisha. There were piles of tires in the lorry. They gave Biff an idea. Roll the tires onto the road, she shouted. They rolled the tires down the track. They bounced toward the man, men. That will stop them, shouted Lissa. Aisha started the lorry. Hold on tight, she shouted. Biff, Wolf, and Lissa cheered as the lorry roared away down the track. Hooray! We made it! Laughed Aisha. That was great. The road was very steep and narrow. The lorry jolted and bumped over the rough rocks and loose stones. Hang on! Yelled Aisha. Watch out! Shouted Lissa. We don't want to end up in the river. Suddenly, the road started to slip away. It was sliding into the gorge. Look out! Shouted Lista. There's a landslide. The road is slipping down the hill. <clears throat> Aisha tried to stop the lorry, but it was too late. The lorry began to slide down into the gorge. It went faster and faster, crashing over rocks and tearing through bushes. Oh no! It's called Wolf. We're heading straight for the river. Hang on! Shouted Aisha. The lorry stopped on the edge of the river. The front wheels hung over the rocky bank. Pew! Said Aisha. That was close. Now what are we going to do? Asked Biff. I don't know, said Aisha. But we'll think of something. Biff and Lissa looked back to the road. In the distance, they saw the men coming. We better think of something quickly," said Lissa. "Those men will be here soon. We have to get away from them," said Aisha. "We can't let them catch us." Wolf had found some inner tubes in the back of the lorry. He had an idea. We can float down the river in these tubes," he said. "We just have to blow them up." Aisha looked in the back of the lorry and found a pump. She began to inflate the tubes. She pumped up the last one just in time. The children each sat on one tube, and Aisha pushed them out into the river. She jumped onto the last tube just as the men clambered down the water. Ha! Too late! She shouted. The four of them floated downstream on the rubber tubes. They moved quickly down the fur of the fast-flowing river. They passed through a narrow gorge. It had tall, steep sides. Then the gorge grew narrower. The river began to flow faster. Ahead, they could see foaming water. This is scary," called Beth. "I can see white water ahead. What if it's a waterfall?" "Don't worry," called Aisha. "We'll think of something." The water rushed and roared through the gorge. The tubes bucked and bumped through the water as they went faster and faster. "Hang on tightly!" yelled Aisha. "It won't last long." 
I'm getting wet, shouted Wilf. At least there isn't a waterfall, said Biff. At last, they floated into calm water. Wow, that was exciting, said Lisa. Biff looked down the river. She saw a boat coming towards them. Oh, help, she said. It, lo it looks like those men again. Now what are we going to do? Aisha and Lisa laughed. We are back safely in my kingdom now, said Aisha. These are my people. She shook everyone's hand. I bet not many people arrive here on an inner tube, laughed Wilf. The men said they could take Aisha and Lisa home to their palace. The key is glowing. It's time to go, said Biff. We won't be able to ride on a camel. Goodbye. Thanks for helping, said Aisha. Goodbye, called Wilf. That was an exciting adventure, said Biff. I liked Princess Aisha. She was fun. Chip came into Biff's room. Shall we go outside to play? he asked. What shall we play? asked Biff. You'll think of something, grinned Wilf. Rescue! Biff and Wilf meet the princess again in another adventure. How can blowing a few bubbles help Biff and Wilf rescue Princess Aisha's sister? Biff and Chip and Kipper Stories Rescue Oxford Reading Tree Series created by Roger Cunt and Alex Richa. Thanks guys for watching. Have a good day.